This is tube food. And we call it tube food because it is food that is packed in a tube. U-2 pilots in the Air Force are a lot like astronauts. They fly as high as 72,000 feet and there's no oxygen. So they wear pressurized suits and helmets to breathe. The only way to eat is to slurp through a straw. What we do here is we make and design rations for the U.S. military. We are the only people in the world who make it, and these are tube foods. We have approximately 19 different varieties that we make here. Apple pie, key lime pie, beef stew, truffle mac and cheese. The products used to be very pureed. It looked a lot like baby food. In fact, many of the pilots used to think that Gerber manufactured the tube foods for them. But about five years ago, the pilots came up to us and they wanted something that had texture more like regular food. If you have a beef stew, they want it to be able to taste the peas and the carrots and the meat and the potato separately, not just as one mashed up product. So Dan and his team of food scientists in this lab set to work. We try to grind things up so that they do have a particle size that's small enough to fit through this tube, yet still gives the texture that the person would normally have. Those tube food flavors aren't the only thing they've developed in this lab. From powdered cheese to instant coffee, they've invented a number of products that eventually made their way into civilian life. So, is tube food our future? There hasn't been an effective use of these products in this country outside of the U2, but we can see where it might be useful for like students in a dormitory, campers, anyone who wants to have an easy eat-on-the-go item. <laughs>